the universe, shell and kernel. When King Solomon penetrated into the depths of the nut garden, as it is written, I descended into the garden of nuts. He took up a nutshell. Studying it, he saw an analogy of its layers with the spirits which motivate the sensual desires of humans, as it is written. And the delights of sons of men are from male and female demons. The Holy One, be blessed, saw that it was necessary to put into the world all these things to make sure of permeance. And of having, so to speak, a brain surrounded by numerous membranes. The whole world, upper and lower, is organized on this principle. From the primary mystic center to the very outermost of all the layers. All are coverings, the one to another, brain within brain, spirit inside spirit, shell within shell. The primary center is the innermost light of, tr of a translucence, subtility, and purity beyond comprehension. That inner point extended becomes a palace which acts as an enclosure for the center and is also of a radiance translucent beyond the power to know it. The palace vestment for the incognizable inner point while it is an unknowable radiance in itself is nevertheless of lesser subtility and translucence than the primal point. The palace extends into a vestment for itself, the primal light. From then outward, there is extension upon extension, each constituting a vesture to the one before, as a membrane to the brain. Through membrane first, each extension becomes brain to the next extension. Likewise, does the point go on below and after this design, man in the world combines brain and membrane, spirit and body, all to the more perfect ordering of the world. When the moon was conjoined with the sun, she was luminous. But when she went apart from the sun and was given governance of her own host, her status and her light were reduced, and shell after shell was fashioned for investing the brain, and all was for its good.